Hey, what's up, ladies and gentlemen, man? Welcome back to the King Penny Podcast. This is episode seven, man. Got a special guest here today, man. Hey, uh, want to mention about the deadlift competition uh, this weekend? Why I got you guys here, man, at sixteen ten Main Street at the Weight Pile on the Rockies. Uh, it's on the fifteenth uh, between eleven and two. Hey, we need to have all lifts done between that time, eleven a.m. and two p.m. You know what I mean? So make sure we have everything recorded. We got four possible winners. We got the men's max. Uh, men's uh, 250 rep off. How many reps you can get in a minute? Uh, the women's max and the women's 155 rep off, man. So check that out, man. Rules video on uh, at King Penny Sups uh, on Instagram if you want to check that out. Hey, uh, also too, it's completely free gym by the way. 1610 Main Street, uh, Longmont, Colorado. Weight pile in the Rockies, man. With that said, let's go ahead and bring in our guest, episode seven, man. Hey, 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 bro. hey. About time you made it down. I know, man. man I appreciate it. Yeah, so let's start off with the name and where you're from. Okay, so my name is Andwele. I'm a rapper from Denver, Colorado, Bellside to be exact. So, yeah, man. Where did you get the name Andwele? You know what, man? I was, uh, it was it was years ago. I was, uh, I went on this like super like black power trip, bro. And I was like, <laughs> I was like, let me change my name real quick. And I was searching for names. And then I came across this name, you know what I'm saying? And it was, it was dope. It kind of embodied kind of like the direction that I wanted to go. You know what I'm saying? So I didn't go all the way with changing my name. But then like when I was getting into the rap game, I was like, you know, this, this, this is fitting. Oh, okay. So yeah, I just chose that one. So. so what's the what's the family look like? You single? You married? You I'm married. I've been married for two and a half. Me and my wife will be uh, it'll be three years in September, September fifth to be exact. Oh, so okay. so it'll be three years. Congratulations. Appreciate man. it. Appreciate it. No, man. So when did you start rapping? Man, I started rapping, man. Truth be told, bro, I started rapping like fairly recently. Like, I think I was probably like twenty eight, twenty nine. And uh, I had this friend who was a who was a Christian rapper, and so like I used to kick it with him. We used to do like you know, I said like I used to go to like his studio sessions and stuff like that. So um, I used to always joke with him like, "Hey, bro, I'm about to come out of retirement, bro. You better you know what I'm saying just look out for me." And I said that for like six months, and then man, after a while, I was just like, "Man, let me." Let me see, you know what I'm saying? So I went to YouTube, put up like a J. Cole type of beat, and it's been on, like literally been on like ever since. Like I started like, you know what I'm saying? I just started writing, kind of perfecting my craft, and you know what I'm saying? I kind of just started from there. Yeah, you like to write or freestyle? Sure. I would say I'm a writer. I'm not like a, like a, yeah, I'm not a freestyler at all, but you know what I'm saying? How many, how many albums do you have out? Um, so I got three projects. So I got Dreams of My Father, Water to Wine, and uh, 3P. Okay. So I, and I dropped 3P last year. So Okay. And that's all on YouTube? Are you anywhere else? Um, It's on everything where you can stream music. So it's on YouTube. It's on uh, uh, Spotify, Apple Music, iTunes, like everywhere where you can consume and music. Uh, under uh, Andwele. Yes, sir. Like how you spell it? It's uh, A-N-D-W-E-L-E. Okay. Yeah. You gotta spell it out. I you know, know, man. Because like, I, I remember I did episode two, mm -hmm. and I had told people about you. I was like, man, I heard this guy, man, and then, mm -hmm. look, then the lights came on and the camera was on, and then and she go, "What's his name?" And I go. Uh, look, I didn't want to say it wrong. That was just like uh, you know what I get it a lot, bro. It's cool, you know. It's cool, you know. Yeah, yeah. But so, how you like the Denver music scene? How do you, you know what I mean? Like, how do you navigate through that? Bro, I love the Denver music scene right now. I feel like from where it started and where it is now, it's grown so much over the years. I feel like. And it hasn't, you know, and, and maybe it'll be like that in the future, but I feel like Denver could be like a hub for like, as like, you know what I'm saying, like a Atlanta or like a New York. I just feel like if we put the work in and we work more cohesively, you know what I'm saying? I don't know, is cohesively a word? Yeah, definitely. Okay, if we work, if we work more in, yeah. you know what I'm saying, in unison, Dang. I feel like it could be a hood. You one know? band, one sound. <laughs> 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 Get with that doctor, one yes. sound. But now, yes. uh, what you call it, man? So what kind of genre of rap are you? Would you would you classify? Ah, oh, that's a good question, bro. Uh like if you could compare yourself to an artist, right? Bro, I'm like I feel like I'm a ah, listen, man, I feel like I'm a I'm a mixture between like like Nipsey Hustle and like Common. 
Like I'm in like I'm in between. Like if Nipsey Hussle is like on the West Coast and then like Common is like like purely conscious rap, like I'm I'm somewhere in the middle. Okay. You know what I'm saying? So I kinda I can that way I could kind of navigate, I could lean to both sides. Like I'm not beholden to like any particular sound. So to somebody, me. So somebody so somebody, right? You was the, they say, mm -hmm. hey, look here. We need one song from you mm -hmm. to kind of sum up, you know what I mean? And it's it's hard probably for an artist or whatever. Mm -hmm. Hey, what send us one song mm -hmm. so we can figure out what's the sound, what's the what's what song is it? Which like the song that I've I've created? Yeah, like what mm. song would you say like hey, Ooh. this defines me this, this defines me? Or this is Um uh, Man, I probably I probably had to say uh Hoop Dreams. Hoop Dreams. Yeah, yeah uh, excuse me. Yeah, yeah, I'd probably have to say Hoop Dreams would probably be a song that I would look to. Okay. Yeah, because I feel like Yeah, I just feel like that's a, that's every rapper's dream is to, you know, is to is to make it, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. It's is to to provide for their family. So I feel like Hoop Dreams is like the embodiment of that for nah, sure. That's what's up. Mm -hmm. So do you have like uh, who, who? So I know you mentioned like Nipsey and Common and whatnot. Mm -hmm. like, who's your top five? Like all, like all time? Or are we all, like all time? Let's go all time. All time, I would say Pac is number one to me. Um, I probably have to go with Biggie is number two. Um. Nas is number three. Uh, four, he's my per he's one of my personal favorites. Will be Common. Common is number four, and I probably have to put Lil Wayne in number five. Okay. Yeah, so that would be. At common, you know what I'm saying? At common, that's hey, a common reach. is hey, hey, that's a reach. Hey, bro, common like is that. common is one of my hey, common is. He got bars, bro. Yeah. But Common is like one of them. Does dudes. he have acting skills, though? Yeah, he does. <sighs> <laughs> this guy's a Common fan. Like, you ever Robert seen Robert. him in uh, in Love, the the movie Love, L U V? Nah. Okay, he's like, like he's not. I feel like in the other stuff, he's kind of you know he's he's, he's, he's kind of lacking. Oh, okay. it's kind of lacking. But I feel like in Love, it's a he's a yeah he did a good job in Love. So yeah. maybe I'm right. so. What about local artists? Do you have a favorite, like, or one that you like to work with, or one that you like hey, when they drop? Hey, he might be, you know what I mean? He's um, local artists, like top five local artists. Yeah, top three, or you know what I mean? Like, however many. I ones. mean, shoot, I was, and this is outside of my team because you know what I'm saying. Outside of my team, the rappers that I really love, I love AP. AP is cold. I like uh, he got some swag with him too. Hey, AP is cold, Dang. bro. AP got, I mean, he's like to me, he's one of them ones out here. Yeah. Um, I probably have to go Interstate, I, and uh, Trev probably. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, I, but I wanna, but I mean, I wanna work with AP. We been man, I, I talked about working with him, but yeah, he's he's cold. Yeah. So I, I want, I actually do want to work with him. You think sure. Ike is the pioneer? For the bells, yeah. For for, for my bell. for my bellow, yes. Yeah. 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 Oh. And he's one of the pioneers for the city. Like I feel like just then we talked about it but off the air, but I feel like he's one of the one of the artists that like he's like one of the pioneers that paved the way for a lot of for you know what I'm saying, for other cities to take Denver like seriously. He's one of the first ones. Like not the only one, but he's one of the Yeah. And so this leads into my tough question, right? Mm -hmm. So I had asked uh on episode two, I'd asked uh Katrina. She's a promoter for the knock. Mm -hmm. uh, 303. Shout out to Katrina, long yeah. live the queen. Katrina for sure, long yeah. live the queen. Long live, the, long live the hey, queen. But I had asked her, you know what I mean, a tough question. Mm -hmm. I told her, hey, you don't have to answer this. Mm -hmm. But why hasn't there been like a mainstream or, you know what I mean, like breakout artists or breakout, you know what I mean, moment for Denver? I think, and we, and we talked about it, I feel like it depends on what you, on how you define it. Because yeah. to me, if you, if you make money or if you're or if you're generating enough revenue that you can take care of your family, you've you've gotten into these rooms, you've toured, I feel like you've won. You know what I'm saying? Um as far as like mainstream, I don't think we you know what I'm saying, it, it hasn't happened as of yet. You know what I'm saying? We haven't had like a J. Cole or like a Kendrick, but we've had a lot of artists that have that have broken through and have made enough generated enough buzz and revenue that they can you know that they can eat for the rest of their lives so it just depends on how you look at it you know what i mean yeah. 
But no, so, so my problem is this, right? Mm-hmm. And I want to talk about you. What, what's the, what's the that's problem? The shift. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's the, when the shift comes, that's when the hard questions come. Uh-huh. Because in my mind, I'd be like, oh, okay. Mm-hmm. That's the politically correct answer. For sure. Right? And then you answered that safely. <laughs> <laughs> but let me go ahead. Let me for go sure. Ahead, let me go ahead and take this plane off. <laughs> <laughs> hey, for so, sure. So I, 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 I was recently like on your YouTube page. Mm-hmm. And I saw that you had like the three four projects on there or, mm-hmm. you know what I mean and the singles and whatnot like that and I'm wondering like and I listen to them mm-hmm. you know what I mean I was in the I'm in the gym every morning so I get a chance to like hey let me go ahead and put something on let me see what's going on mm-hmm. lyrical content's good for sure appreciate beats it beats are good for you sure know what I mean delivery's great yep you know what I mean like the the prop the, uh there is cohesion to the to the sure. projects for and sure they're all headed in the same like you know what I mean? Like you got these songs, this project. It's not yeah, just yeah. over here that what what is this doing on the album? Mm-hmm. Like every, every artist does that for some reason. I don't, yeah, know, like, yeah. I don't think this belongs on this project. <laughs> but every artist does it, but you, you, you don't. Mm-hmm. And I wonder why hasn't this taken off? And why do you feel uh, you as an artist have haven't? <laughs> I could do a much better job at, at music marketing. I, I see going coming into the game, bro. Like I thought that it was more talent driven. But it's more. I, f- I feel like it's it's a business. It's marketing driven. It's not necessarily about your talent if you don't know how to market your music correctly and know how to put out, you know, and have a plan and putting things out and you know what I'm saying and having having basically your business in order before you, you know what I'm saying before you release music. I f- I feel like I haven't done that. You know what I'm saying to a you know what I'm saying as, as at a high level as I could have. So that I w- no. Let me let me. Let me move some things around. Yeah. So, what about like as far as like posting more on Instagram or posting more on I, social media? That's what I'm saying, and that's what I mean by that. I feel like I could be much more consistent with my content. Oh, you know okay. what I'm saying, and, and and putting and not not even just putting out new content, but just pushing a lot of my old content as well. Because yeah. a lot of things, one of the things that I struggle with early on was like man it's just like do i keep pushing this song or like do i keep doing this it's just like but what i've learned is like man you got to keep pushing your content even if it's old even if people because you gotta like do you have a lot of people you know they're coming to your page that don't know that you've released this you know these these projects mm-hmm. you know what i'm saying so you got to continuously flood out and push out content that's one thing that i've learned so over the years but what about like working with different artists that's another way. Um, um, I would say that yeah, I, I definitely probably not di- not probably, but I definitely need to work with other artists. Like I don't know, man. It's just like it, it hasn't been like a, a thing that I've looked to do a lot. You know what I mean? I want to do it more. Well, I know before you said AP. <laughs> yeah, I definitely outside, wanna... outside of your team. What's two more artists that you would like to that that kind of would fit along the lines of you know what I mean? Like, I definitely want to work with AP. For sure. Um, uh, what's another artist that I want to work with? Um, there's an artist named Gr Nello that that I wanted to work with. Um, I definitely want to work with uh, with Trip. Um, she's a she's a female rapper. She just moved to like L. A. But um, I want to work with her. I want to work with a lot of artists, but I don't know. Sometimes it doesn't. It doesn't work out like that. Timing or the timing. I'm I'm impatient, bro. I'm 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 a very impatient rapper. Yeah. So like you know what I'm saying, me like waiting on a verse, mm-hmm. like how I look at it, bro, it's just like why I need to wait on it when I could just write it myself. And I probably need to I probably need to 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 approach it differently. Yeah. Cause it's not that I I think the perception is maybe that I don't want to work with other artists, but that's not true. Because I think there's a lot of dope artists out here. Yeah, because well it's patience in the cooking, you know. Mm-hmm. But I mean I get what you're saying because I'm mm-hmm. an entrepreneur most of my life. Okay, I'm mention before you go there, I wanna mention another artist. Chris Carter is another Chris Carter. Yeah, another he's another artist that I would love to work with out here. He's oh. he's he's fire. I think he moved here from like Louisville, Kentucky or something. Oh, I'm gonna check him out. Yeah, he's he's cold, bro. Okay. Yeah, yeah, he's cold. Yeah, All right. yeah. But now so I'm an entrepreneur, right? I've been an entrepreneur most of my life and stuff like that. And so I'm used to doing stuff like hey, yeah. I ain't gonna Can I can I sit with yeah, one? Bro. For like sure. I ain't gonna wait for nobody to you know what I mean? And so yeah. I, I agree with you mm-hmm. on that. Especially if you have the ability to write. But you know, I yeah. guess as far as far as that, I don't know. I guess it probably could be better to have the 
the conversations about hey look here this yeah. is how I'm trying to release this at this time and stuff like that is it something that's doable yeah and I be a better conversation to have or I think so I think man because I'm I think I need to be more upfront with like when I need you know certain verses like if like because I've hit artists I'm like hey man I need this verse or whatever and it was like yeah yeah and and and, and the timeline is kind of murky but like going moving forward how I want to look at it is like okay. I need this song within like, you know what I'm saying, within this, within this particular time frame. Like yeah. you said, like, are you able to do this? Like being more like business, like more, you know what I'm saying, like business. Like once we get the business out the way and get the money situated and everything, and then then we could just have fun with it. You know what I mean? So I feel like I need to be. You're going to have fun with it. This question is for the fans, man. Mm -hmm. Are just all rappers just late in general? Or <laughs> you know what I'm uh, I got a show. Why do you guys put ten o'clock and don't nobody know. go on till twelve? Hey man, I I just think it's an extension of a uh, a uh, CP time. Uh, I mean, y'all <laughs> be super extended, bro. Out. Like man, I'm I'm late to everything, bro. I don't know why. I just yeah, yeah. No, but I was on time here, wasn't well, I? Early. I was, was I was like a little okay. That's week. not bad. You know, usually, okay. usually like I'm right. I would say I'm usually like right on time. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like I don't come like a minute early or like you know what I'm saying. But I'm usually. You know what I'm saying? Uh, yeah. Man, well, it is. So, is there a, you do shows? Yeah, I did. A, I did a show with the Knock a couple months ago. You know yeah. what I'm saying? I'm I'm trying to get that thing situated. You know, right. <laughs> I, haven't, I haven't done too many shows like this summer, but that's the that's the plan. What's uh, what's your favorite venue to perform in? Uh, I performed at the Bluebird one time. I opened up for uh, Talib. This was like when I first started rapping. Yeah. Yeah, I opened up for Talib. You know what I'm saying? Like, how was it? How was the energy? I did. I did terrible. I was uh, like, it, it was like when I first started, it was probably like six months after I first started rapping. So it was just like, it wasn't like, I didn't know, like, you know what I'm saying? I didn't know that you needed to take like the vocals out so people can hear you rapping. You know what I'm saying? I was nervous. My first time like rapping in front of a crowd. You know what I'm saying? So it was like, yeah, it was bad, but. Yeah, it was. Like, it was, but it was a great learning experience. Especially though. in front of Talib. What did, yeah. what did he say? Did he give you that? Hmm. Yeah. <laughs> he gave <you> that. <laughs> <laughs> like he gave me the, like, dude, you got potential. You know yeah. what I mean? Like, I, yeah, I got to chop it up with him. And we got some good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Talib is here. Yeah. Uh, what, what, what advice would you give to an upcoming artist or one who wants to get into the rap game nowadays? Ooh, where do we? Where, where will we start? Like, you know, like, <laughs> Uh, I would say, man, uh, advice I would give, man, is like, are you willing to commit at least five years to it? Five years. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, because like, if you're not willing to commit at least five years to it, then don't even, to me, don't even start. Number one. Number two is you have to understand that this is a business and this is a business that is predicated on generating revenue. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's called the music industry. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So you have to go into it, you know what I'm saying, with the mindset that, like, my goal is to be more business-minded and not necessarily take things so personally or, like, you know what I mean? So I would tell the artists, like, man, everything costs money. In the in the music industry, from the videography to the to the studio time to ed, like everything, you know what I'm saying? Everything costs money. And are you willing, you know what I'm saying, to commit? A, are you willing to have a, you know what I'm saying, to commit a certain amount of funds to it without seeing, you know what I'm saying, the back end of it or the, the fruits of your labor like right away? Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Are you willing to commit to that? You know what I'm saying? Uh, what else would I say, man? Like, I would say those two off rip. You know what I'm saying? Just like, yeah, just are you willing to commit to it? You know what I'm saying? Long term. And, you know what I'm saying? Going into it with a business mindset. That what's, would be. What's been the worst or the, what's been the worst part of the journey? <laughs> Not seeing the fruits of your labor. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Not seeing, uh, and, and, it, and it comes like, uh, it, and it also depends on the why to me. That would be another that would be another thing that I would say. Like, why do you do the thing? Like, why do you do music? Are you doing it for recognition? Are you doing it because I feel like at any point, like are you doing it for money? Whatever. At some point that why is gonna be tested. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? That why is gonna, you know. So because I, I I mean I know a couple of local artists like here in uh here mm -hmm. in Loma, yeah. and I tried to like extend like an olive branch to them and yeah. you know, like just general get them started. 
Mm-hmm. Okay, look here. Let's put something down. Yeah. Everybody wants to freestyle. And I'm like, mm-hmm. okay. hey, look here. I was like, even the guys you see mm-hmm. or you think that you see yeah. on Sway and mm-hmm. on all these things, they just, I don't know, for some reason, they just yeah. think these guys are just coming off the top of their head. Nah. It's, and I'm it's like, def- it's definitely right. I mean, they might give you a couple bars off yeah. the top of the head, but it's going to go back to something that was... Hey, look here. This is from the notebook in right. you know what I mean, 2017. <laughs> that you about to get this heat that don't you know, right, you right. Or, mm-hmm. you know, but I try to tell them, hey man, give me something. You're right. Like I even uh, reached out to a couple artists, trying to get them to do like my intro mm-hmm. for like this podcast. Like, yeah, hey, yeah. Man, let's put something over a beat, 15, 20 seconds or something. Oh, I can freestyle. Some more. Come again. <laughs> <laughs> like you know what I mean? I'm like, bro, yeah. just write it down, yeah. and that way we can go, there you go. and take this thing. Yeah. And, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Like, nah, uh-uh. <laughs> uh, oh, hove don't write. <laughs> oh, that's what you right, but that's hove though. <laughs> but yeah, I'm like, <laughs> what do you think this is? Wow. Like, but, you know, like, mm-hmm. but I, I, I want to tell them, man. Like, you know what I mean? No, I think I think a lot of artists now, man, they don't want to master their craft. I, I would agree with that. Like, you know what I mean? And that's like. The biggest thing, bro, I think a lot of emphasis is placed on what hood you from. Okay. You, you know, like they try to go off the street cred mm-hmm. versus actually like putting pen to paper. Right. Facts. Like, you know what I mean? Like, oh, I've been arrested this many. That's great. I've been shot. at. That's great. Right. Bro. Like, but you know what I mean? Like, mm-hmm. You haven't even been putting in the work, though. Right. I'm, I'm going to tell you a story, man. Like when I first started, like, like when I... Like when I first decided that this is something that I was gonna commit to, bro. Like I can, like before I even went to the studio, like, like, and my wife would tell you, like, I was like, like I stayed up nights just writing. You know what I'm saying? Just perfecting my craft because if I'm gonna put it on wax, to me, if I'm gonna put it, like, if I'm gonna put it out there for the world to hear, it, you know what I'm saying? I want it to be my best. So I wanted so for months. You know what I'm saying? I would just stay up and just write songs and just make sure that you know what I'm saying, just perfect my craft to the point where I feel like that I can put this. You know what I'm saying? I'm comfortable enough to put this on wax. You know what I mean? So yeah, you definitely gotta put the time in for sure. And I feel like that's something that's that's lacking in 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 rap music. So there's uh, so what producers? What what are your favorite producers to work with, and who? What producers do you want to work with, like in the future? So um, start, with, start with favorite producers right now to work with in Denver. You know what, bro? I haven't really worked with too many local producers. Most of the stuff that I, most of the stuff that you hear, like on my albums, they come from like YouTube. Like they come from like YouTube producers, and that's like a hidden gem in like the in like the rap game. Do they give you a pack? So yeah, you could buy packs. You could buy like a lease. You could lease the beat for like fifty bucks or whatever. Whatever they sell it, you can uh, pop off. Then then you gotta like renegotiate the terms and stuff like that. That's not really the ideal way to do it. You know what I'm saying? But if you're independent and you and you're working with a a very strict budget, that's kind of like which most independent artists are. They're working with a small little budget. I'm saying that that works out. So I do want to work with some uh, with some local producers. Like I got some like got some homies. Uh, Bang Bang Culture is a, uh, is a producer that I want to work with for sure. Um, there's one. Um, his name is a uh, his, his name is Fifty Two Eighty Mystic. He's a producer. He's a rapper too, but he uh, he's in Arizona now. So, but he's a he's a producer that I want to work with. Um, there's this dude called Lust out here that I like. He's he's a dope producer. So I want to work with him. Yeah. It's just I I guess I haven't. And that's so bad. Um, I I want to work with more local producers, but it's just it, it hasn't come to fruition yet. So it was, yeah. No, nah, that's cool to know, man. That's that's really good because it's all about networking and like for that, sure man, getting people a different kind of sound or yeah. reaching out to different markets and absolutely like that man. Because like like I said, what you're doing is great. You had mentioned earlier you have a team. Mm-hmm. Who 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 was in that? Uh, so we call ourselves the regime. So it's me. Uh, it's my homie Bam, Miss uh, Mister All Capitals, and at ease. So oh, we kinda, okay. yeah. So we uh we formed it probably like a year ago. We just you know we came together and we was like you know we move better collectively than individually. So we kind of created like a little you know what I'm saying like a team. You know what I'm saying like a it's it's not like a label, but it's more like a rap group right now. So. Yeah, we got some stuff coming though. We uh we just shot a video to one of the things that we uh one of the singles we're about to put out pretty soon. So we just shot the video. So many ideas on the next project? Like when it's coming out or is there you know what I mean? Give us a uh, think, like you know. I got a couple, man. Like I got this uh I got this uh this joint that I'm working on called Like I Never Left. Mm-hmm. It's uh 
It's it's really like just like a short like little EP, like some some summer bangers. I'm a, I'm probably gonna put that out probably like at the end of the summer. Um, and so we got the regime, we got the regime. We we're dropping a, a project, and uh, probably I would say like the fall. It's probably like the fall. So like, but what the one that I'm really working on though, the one that I've been working on for like the last couple years, is is this joint called uh life. You know what I'm saying? Life life behind bars. That's uh that's something that I've been working on for like I would say like the last two years, like year and a half, two years. So yeah. I'm trying to drop that like in the like in the it's like really like Griselda type, you know, like yeah. East Coast type of you know what I'm saying, like bar heavy type of stuff. So I'm trying to drop that like in like the I would say like the winter time. So how long does it take you to write one song? Like so say for instance I'm sure it probably comes in spurts, like you might write a verse over here and then go back and like kinda uh, I, I think it depends on the song. Like usually, usually, yeah. You know, like if if I really like the beat and, and like I really know what I want to write about, which is you know, it probably take me maybe half hour. Yeah, cause you, yeah, you writing a lot, a lot of self reflective stuff. Yeah, yeah, like for the, sure. Like the Black Queen. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm hmm. And, yep, uh, that's a. What was, what was the, the the Papa? Papa told me. Yeah, that's like, the. Uh, you know the intro of the, uh, the one EP mm -hmm, album and stuff yeah, like that. Like I was yeah. just like, oh, okay. Yeah. Like you know yeah. what I mean, and you really put your heart in it, man. No, mm -hmm. like, that really caught people. Mind. Really rock with that with that project too. That's still like my like out of all the projects that I released, like that's the that's the one that people resonate with yeah. the most. Because I mean, I'm trying to tell you, the intro sets the tone. Like yeah, that's what people first, say. Like the very first, I was just like, "Oh, mm -hmm. okay, that's what we own." Yeah, that's because what's I up. think honestly, that was the first project I listened to. Okay, I listened to the three that's love. Well, but that mm -hmm. was the first one, and then when the intro, like I got through that intro, I was like, mm -hmm. oh, "Okay, that's where we at with this." It, yeah, that was. Funny. Yeah, that was. Uh, yeah, I put man, that was a labor of love for sure. I put my heart into that one. Yeah, you yeah. put out more freestyles from the car. Or uh, that's kind of you know what's crazy, bro. That's kind of how I built my name in this. Yeah. You know, I, I guess I'm more known. I, people know me like for like you know for my music too, but like I'm really known for like those car freestyle type of you know what I'm saying. That's because I feel like that's kind of like the that's my niche. You know what I'm saying? Like you know what I'm saying? Like you know how one on one is like Kobe's thing. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like I feel like freestyling and you know what I'm saying in the car and just being in my element like that's my that's my that's my expertise. But that's the sport. Yeah, you know what I mean. Yeah, like, yeah. That ain't the studio stuff. No, you know, it's not. It's not, definitely not the studio stuff for sure. You know what I'm saying, man? So yeah, like, that shows your passion for it, man. Mm -hmm. It's almost like uh, you know, like uh, Steph Curry just be shooting just to shoot, bro. You can't walk past the basketball. Mm -hmm. without, you know what I mean, bro? bro. <laughs> Every time I hop in the whip, I'm just thinking like, man, should I? You know, but I probably need to. I, I definitely want to release more though, but you know. But. So what keeps you? What keeps you motivated right now? What, what What's your motivation right now? What wakes you up in the morning? Man, I would say, man, that's a good question. I would say what what motivates me to do music, bro, is like the, just the, man, I just love to do it. Like, you know what I mean? Yeah. Like, it's like, it's just like, I don't know, it's like sport to me. Like yeah. it's like it's like lifting weights or like oh, you know say less. Yeah. <laughs> you know what what saying? Saying? Like, you know what I'm saying? It's like I just love to do it. Yeah. You know, it's just like that. And that's what motivates me is the love for it. Like getting up and just like, you know what I'm saying? There's nothing I love. You know what I'm saying? Outside of like, you know what I'm saying, the like my relationship with my wife, like it's, it's just what I love to do. I love to rap. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? It just like it gets my juices flowing. Like when I hear, you know what I'm saying? Like when I hear like a verse, like a you know what I'm saying? Like yeah. it motivates me to write. Like the other day I was listening to like some AP or I was, I was listening to some AP and I was like, I was like, I'm gonna write a song. Like, you know what I'm saying? Let me go, like, I'm gonna write a song today. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So like you know, rap just motivates me. What's that song that, what's that song they got out now? AP and two other artists in Denver. Uh Man, I, I was just bumping on the hey, way here. I, I heard that one. It uh, was a FBP. I think it was him. It was him and another dude. I forget the name of it. But yeah, that song is Hey, cold. I said, oh, okay. Yeah, I'm terrible it. about that when it comes to like, I know I heard it. I know yeah. I did it. Because it's, like, mm -hmm. it's like two other artists, all, yeah, yeah. all Denver artists and mm -hmm. stuff like that that are kind of popping. Mm -hmm. And I was just like, oh, okay, that's a vibe. That's yeah. a whole like... You know hey, what I mean? bro, I man, like, oh, AP okay. got man, he, bro, he's he's a hit writer, bro. Yeah. I, I just wish he had more 
recognition. Like, kind of going back to what you're saying yeah. about, like, the mainstream. But because I feel like he's put in the time. I feel like he's done everything. I feel like he's done everything he's needed to do to, to get to that level. You know what I'm saying? But for some reason, who knows? Okay. You know what I mean? So you got... Your uh, the regime album coming. Yeah, we got that. Right. That's a that's set in stone for okay. sure. I've been yeah. And then, it's crazy, bro. And then your uh, summer EP is gonna come out. Yeah, the time. summer joint. I'm gonna drop the summer joint before because the 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 regime joint is more like in the fall. Yeah, bro. so we gonna push bro, that. We need back. a rollout though for the summer joint though. Like you gotta. I, 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 you know I got you. I got you, man. You gotta, I've been. You gotta bring that out. Man. I know, man. I kind of been. I've been. <laughs> You can't wait for the perfect time. There is yeah. no perfect time, but yeah. Or at least give us a slap just to. I you got know you. What I mean, lead into the EP I, like, bro, oh I, yeah, this is. I got you. You know, I got that'd you. Be legit, bro. Mm -hmm. Nah, man, it's all about the world. Do you work with like a a manager or anything like that? Or you I want to. I do not right now. I want to. I'm matter of fact. I'm seeking. I'm seeking. Management. So oh, if you oh, <laughs> call <Colorado laughs> hey, hey, bro, I need it, bro. Like, bro, because there be stuff that I feel like you know what I'm saying. Getting into shows, how I'm not more artists. I feel like a lot of that is stuff, something that managers handle. You know what I'm saying more. And I would rather, real talk, I would just rather pay someone to do that. You know what I'm saying? So I don't have to. So I could just focus on the music. You know what I mean? Like I get, I need to be more business savvy for sure. But man, if I could get somebody to handle a lot of that business for me, yeah. bro, that's that that would be ideal. Yeah, bro, because you definitely like that regime. It sounds you need some shirts. You need some. Merch. Yeah, Look, you need all yeah. that. We need, hey, bro, I was yeah. to tell you, you need all that. We do. And yeah. I think so. Yeah. So we definitely We work we working on it though. We've been we've been we've been putting a plan together for like a, a solid like year. So when we when the rollout comes, okay. you know what I'm saying, it'll be it'll be right for sure. Hey bro, just make sure I get the exclusive though. I got you. I got I wanna, you. Hey, I want to release the first single on here though. I got you. I got you. It, you know what I mean? Yep, so I got you. Go ahead and do that. Uh bro, I want to tell you, man, like I'm a fan. You Thank know you, mean? bro. You got a fan. What not like that? Uh, keep on grinding, man. Thank you, bro. You know what I'm saying. The way you rock with your wife, man, that's commendable, bro. Like, you know what I mean. Stay focused. Home team first. For sure. Stuff like that, man. That's that's the way it goes, man. Uh, wishing you all the success. Thank you, bro. I'm not gonna hold up too much of your time, but also too. Hey, can I get a feature on the album or no? It, nah, nah, nah. I'm talking about can I. I, I'm talking about I want to be on the album. Hey, man, we'll, we'll see. He said, we'll see. Hey, he said, hey, he said, he said, don't want no old washed artist. Hey, said, man, we'll, we'll I'm gonna see. Be all right. I'm going to be on the album. Like this, I keep 16 in the tuck. You know what I yeah, mean? You, uh, keep it, you keep them loaded. Hey, I keep them loaded. You do got to have one. one. You got to have one hey, go to. Right now, but I got to have one. That's one ferocious. Phil Jackson couldn't coach this. Ooh. Hey, look. Ooh. Hey, look here. That's just the first. I'm going to give you a couple bars off the top. Man, look here. I ain't going to hold you man but now like i said i appreciate you coming down man i appreciate you finding time to do this um wishing you all the success man we behind you and stuff Thank like you, that man we're gonna tap in uh give them the uh the names of all the you know what i mean the places the platforms YouTube. oh man you could you could find me on all streaming platforms is andwele is a n d w e l e you can find me on instagram that's where most of my content is i'm starting to build i'm starting to build a tiktok too so it's a n d w e l e that's double underscore so mm -hmm, that's yeah, you'll see like you put me in on Spotify, you know what I'm saying? You'll see a you'll see a you know what I'm saying you'll see a big dude with a white t shirt, you and that's me. <laughs> with bar work too, hey, but man, bars. got bars, man. Bars, hey, yeah. bars on top of bars. Hey, you wanna hear some good music, man, some good raps, man, and some <laughs> hey, serious bar work, bro. Check out my man. Hey, check us out too at the Way Pile on the Rocky, 1610 Main Street, uh, Longmont, Colorado. Don't forget about the deadlift competition this weekend. Hey, come check it out even if you're not participating. Hey, come support the lifters and stuff like that, man. Hey, you guys stay supporting each other, man. Keep up lifting everybody, man. This is King Penny, man, and Dwelle, the rapper out of Denver that's going to put us on the map, baby. Yes, sir. Hey, we're going to ride this wave, bro. Yes, sir. Let's, let's go, get it. Man. Let's get hey, it. Hey, man, we're out of here. Yes, sir. 
say my name, get your shit severed. Kendrick ain't the only nigga rapping, that's a big step up. Yeah, these niggas playing with me, had to switch teams. Wrap you by a dub to a bullet like I'm Chris Webber. Yeah, we setting up shop where they sold that. Soul food burning up the kitchen when the stove black. Pops gone, had to navigate without a road map. Tell that I'm a Denver nigga, all I spit is cold facts. Kill I'm a bell side rapper, get it now or never. A nigga under pressure. Remember, mama told me be the greatest rapper ever. What I write is no cap, and I was rolling with them steppers. Shooting, I ain't passing in the clutch. You better double me. God is on my side, tribulation never humbled me. Yeah, the truth is, yeah, the losses made me study harder. This for my niggas had to get it out the muddy water. For my niggas that was standing packed. Rumble when it's on and when it's beef, I never ran from that. Jordan in the fourth, I had to get it, ain't no standing back. Knew that I could make it when I made my couple bands from rap Yeah, I'm married to this gang like Papa Remy I think I love my wife, I dodge these thoughts cause I have plenty These rappers on my plate, I'm trying to eat like I'm at Denny's Bag them up, I'm the dopest in my city But I ain't top five, nigga